Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing some of the things that you are doing that might be stopping you from conceiving quickly. I've already done a video about how to get pregnant quickly. That video is going to be linked down below. But in today's video, I'm going to be discussing things that are actually within your control that might be stopping you from conceiving early. Disclaimer guys, I'm not a medical doctor or a health practitioner. I'm just going to be giving you tips and advice that I have seen throughout my years, you know, battling infertility for four years. I'm just basically information I have gathered over the years. The first one is not seeking medical attention early. A lot of people are going through infertility but have not gone to see their doctors. They are hoping for some miracle. I'm not against hoping for some miracle. If you guys don't know, I battled unexplained infertility for four years and God knows I hoped for a miracle all through that time but I also went to see my doctor, okay? So please go and seek medical attention if you have tried over six months and you are over the age of 35 and you've not gotten pregnant, go and see a doctor. If you are below 35 and you have tried for over a year, please go and see your doctor. But personally, what I advise people is that if in your heart you feel that there's a reason why you're not conceiving early, then go and see your doctor, even if it's one month in, even if it's three months in, just go and see your doctor, okay? Now the second one, and this one is majorly directed at the men, is unsupportive spouses, okay? A lot of men are not supportive of their spouses when they are going through infertility journey. It goes both ways, but from what I have noticed, overwhelmingly, men are more unsupportive of their partners when they are going through infertility. Going through infertility is a very trying time in anybody's life, whether male or female, and it is even more stressful and sad when your partner is not supportive, they're not going for tests, they're not accompanying you for tests if you're the one that has the issue, if your partner is not really there for you, if your partner is not pushing you, you know, trying to seek help himself or herself or trying to push you to seek help, it might actually lead to a delay in when you conceive your child, okay? And this is, you know, a new year. I'm sure so many people are hoping for a miracle this year. They are praying for a baby they are hoping you know to have their babies in their arms this year please if you are a man and you're watching this video please support your wife in any way she needs you to support her okay and also go for tests in nigeria i have realized that a lot of men are the problem but they don't know because they refuse to go for tests they just assume that it is the woman's problem and that's really really sad okay sometimes it might be the woman's problem but maybe she has just a little you know, infertility issue that can be overcome while you have a serious infertility issue that needs to be overcome as well. So just because your wife was diagnosed with something doesn't mean that you are in the clear. Also go and get yourself checked out and rule out, you know, male infertility as part of the problem. And the third one, and I have spoken about this several times, it is visiting the wrong medical practitioners, okay? Visiting the wrong hospital, visiting the wrong doctors. And this happens a lot in Nigeria as well. So many people, when they are battling infertility, they go to just that general GP, they go to clinics, they go to pharmacies. Some people, you know, ask a friend of a friend of a friend. Some people go to their gynees instead of a reproductive endocrinologist, okay? I hope I got that right. Basically, a fertility doctor. There are hospitals that are specialized in fertility okay those are the best hospitals to go to those are the best doctors to go to when you are facing any challenge with your fertility okay those are the best doctors to go to do not waste your time going to regular doctors or just your gynecologist all things being equal these people are supposed to refer you to an re but many, many times like personally i wasn't referred to an re many times they don't refer you to anybody they just you know give you whatever advice they are going to give you okay so please and please do your research check for the best re in your in your state in your city if you cannot afford one okay look for funding okay ask for funding just try okay don't just sit down in your house and feel sorry for yourself get moving okay stand up and go out and do your research and look for the best doctors that can help you okay the next one and this affects a lot of people and that is a closed mindset a lot of people who are going through infertility many of them at some point become close-minded because especially when you feel like you have tried it all you might become close-minded you might feel like you know there's no way you know to go from here you might feel like it's not going to happen for you you might just resign to your face you might just give up you might just tell yourself that you know what it's not going to happen for me i'm not supposed to be a mom i'm not supposed to be a dad and then you just close your mind and forget about it no okay i would advise you that you should please try and keep an open mind try and find out new options try and find out new ways okay of 
you know getting to solve your problem and be open to different types of intervention okay some people actually do not want to consider ivf at all they don't want to consider it they feel like ivf is something terrible is something dangerous is something diabolical or something for me every child is a child it doesn't matter how the child came every child is a child if god did not want you to have that child you will not have that child even if you do 100 ivfs okay so keep an open mind okay try iui there's iui which is interuterine um, insemination where they in inseminate you the woman okay they inseminate you but in ivf they extract the egg from you take your husband's sperm and then form an embryo and then implant it back into you okay but iui is a cheaper um, alternative where they inseminate you the woman you know and then you might get pregnant from there some people you know require several cycles some people do it once and it works for them okay but keep your mind open okay do your research find out what people are doing find, don't just sit down in your house like i keep saying don't just sit down in your house and feel sorry for yourself find out what people are doing a lot of people go to church and they hear testimonies about people that you know gave birth after 15 years 20 years 30 years and are just there waiting for a miracle meanwhile those people who gave the testimony actually tried ivf they actually tried iui they actually tried surrogacy okay these are ways that people can get pregnant and have their children so keep your mind open okay it's unfortunate that it's not happening for you the natural way but as far as i'm concerned i do not care about the process what i want is i want a child so if what you want if the end goal is wanting a child then please keep an open mind and try different things and one of them might work for you okay mm -hmm. then the next one is a poor diet and lack of exercise or engaging in unhealthy practices okay like drinking like smoking like eating a lot of junk okay like i said poor diet not getting a lot of vegetables a lot of nutrients in your food just eating anyhow all these things can contribute to you you know, being infertile even though they have checked you and they have seen that you don't have anything wrong with you all these things can actually contribute to the delay in conceiving okay so please as much as possible as much as you can try and get your health in check try and get your diet in check just try i'm not saying that you should become the most fit person in the world i'm not saying you should become the most healthy eater in the world but just try and eliminate some of these harmful things in your diet and try and incorporate some of these healthy practices like just taking walks a day you know exercising skipping just some of those little little things that you can easily do from your home or in, the, in your comfort zone just try them because these things actually help they might not be the number one contributing factor to your infertility but i mean it doesn't harm you to try it's actually just a plus any way you look at it it's a plus to you even if not to your you know fertility journey it is a plus to you as a person and then the last one is stress 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 do not stress yourself okay try as much as possible to eliminate stress from your life i don't know the correlation i don't know how it works but i have seen so many people including myself who when they eliminated major sources of stress in their lives they got pregnant okay i've seen women who were with the wrong spouses spouses who were stressing the hell out of them and they did not conceive for those men then they left those spouses and went to other men where they had peace okay and they conceived almost immediately so like i said earlier i am not a medical doctor i don't know how these things work but i know for a fact that stress actually um, can make you go through infertility both physical stress mental stress emotional stress all these things can make it harder for you to conceive okay so try and eliminate stress as much as possible even if that stress is an unsupportive spouse okay if that stress is an unsupportive spouse you might try to eliminate that unsupportive spouse okay i'm not telling you to go and get a divorce or anything but i'm just telling you that you know do what you have to do to be in the right place mentally to give yourself peace okay and don't worry too much about these things okay some of these things resolve themselves over time on their own and some of these things you're worrying are not going to help you know help it okay if you've been diagnosed with any you know um, health issues or whatever your stressing is not going to make those issues go away so why stress i know it's easier said than done this is basically me trying to encourage you because it wasn't easy for me either but try as much as possible because eventually for me what it took was me resigning from my job okay yeah i resigned from my job and the same month i resigned was the same month like the next month was when i fell pregnant with my first child okay so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys got one or two things from this video like i said i did a video about how to get pregnant fast 
that video is going to be linked in the description box and let me know in the comment section what you think let me know if there's any advice here that you haven't heard before or that you're considering incorporating or if you have any additional advice for us if you've gone through infertility if you can relate if you are a medical doctor and you have any advice for us please leave it in the comment section i'm sure many of us are going to be reading the comment section to get additional information okay thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys